Good evening and welcome to Mystic Matters. This is our third Mystic Matters on the Road. I'm Trisha Walsh, president of the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce, and I have with me tonight our guest host, Hannah Stewart, manager of membership. And we also are joined by Kate Poole, one of our favorite Mystic Matters <laughs> guests in the studio. We are actually at Kate's business today, Mystic River Acupuncture. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you again for having me. I'm so excited that you can actually see my place this time. Yeah. That was one of the uh, main goals when we were approached mm -hmm. to talk about the on the road um, component of Mystic Matters was being able to really showcase all the things you can't visualize when you're talking about yeah. it on the show. You so. can't bring all these with you. Oh, I know. <laughs> I have brought a few of them, though. <laughs> we don't do any. Well, well, what are these for the viewer? Well, um, these, uh, I call them Chinese herbs because I'm a Chinese practitioner, but they're Asian herbs. They come from, mine come from China, but all the Asian countries would have the same ones. And you put them together in a certain way to make an exact formula for somebody who's sick or who has low immune function or, or just a health, beneficial health formula to stay healthy. So... Today you have made us tea. Oh, this tea. This is great. I don't know how the camera can see this, but these are the ingredients that are in this tea. And what's interesting about this, this tea really only has three ingredients. And okay. it's called Jade Windscreen. And it screens against environmental influences that can hurt you, like give you a flu or a cold. You know how you're, you're out in the wind and after that you might start feeling achy and sniffly and the next thing you know you're sick. This protects against that. So what happened when I was making is I ran out of one of the herbs. I couldn't make it, so I had to make a substitution. And I thought, well, as long as I'm making a substitution, I'll add something. So this here is that jade screen herb. These three herbs work together to protect your lungs. And there's a concept of wind invasion in Chinese medicine where if you, that you keep your scarf on because mm -hmm. there are these points in the back of your head. Um, when we go into the treatment room, you can have yours worked on, that, um, that let... From a Chinese point of view perspective, let illness in because it, it weakens the area, it makes you cold and you get sick easier. So these herbs protect that and they, they increase your immune system to counteract um, what we call uh, pernicious influences or evil influences, basically germs, you know, mm -hmm. but we have a different way of saying it. These herbs are all food herbs that you can find in your, if you just took that part out and only used these, you could make a really nice tea at your house. This is cinnamon. Just cinnamon bark, you go into your cupboard and grab some cinnamon. These are the Gucci berries that are so popular now, the wolfberry. People just eat them like raisins. You can have, you can try one if you want. This is licorice, and these are red dates. You don't have to use red dates. You could use, just go and get some dates or maybe some raisins out of your cupboard. Okay. And you can boil all those up and make a really nice tea, very tasty. Um, licorice and, and red dates together we say that they're harmonizers. So when you put herbs together, you throw in some licorice and red dates and it, it turns the formula into, instead of separate herbs, into one big super herb to make them all work together. But yeah, and here's the tea. I made some tea, you can all try it. I boiled Cheers. it in this big Chinese <laughs> pot. It's very tasty. I That's like good. making this tea because everybody thinks Chinese tastes herbs taste really bad and disgusting and horrible and so I always love making a tea for you guys when I come that mm -hmm. tastes good mm -hmm. <laughs> no this is you know it's and, I mean you sweet. can get you could put a little um sugar or honey in here and you could mm -hmm. get kids to drink it yeah. it's very safe for kids this is a really easy formula and it doesn't it's not that expensive it's only three herbs okay well unless you add those so now if someone came to you and they wanted you know, for a specific remedy or something, you would yeah. give them the bag and then they take it home. Yeah, and... they take it home. And this is a special herb cooking pot here, but you don't have to use that. You can just throw them into a pot, cover them with water. You boil them for, or simmer them for half an hour. And then you strain the liquid out and that's your tea for the week or the day or however long I gave you a packet. Now, something like this, I would probably give you a few days worth. Mm -hmm. And then if you had, I have some people who have, um, like rheumatoid arthritis or long-term things that just aren't going to go away. And I give them uh, like a two-week supply at once. Okay. So they'll boil up each week. They boil a supply up. And I, don't, I only give them that much because I still want to change it a little bit when they come. So if you have arthritis and it gets really horribly awful when, let's say it's a day like today, and I know we're having a week of weather like this, I'll put in some special herbs to make you feel better in that kind of weather. And then in the summer when it's sunny, I'll take those herbs out. So I like to change formulas frequently, even for people who always need the same thing. 
because they have an illness that just won't quit. And so you had mentioned that you're celebrating your 25th anniversary yeah, this year. Yeah, 25 <laughs> years this year, yes. This is great. This is a great milestone. And so it was Mystic River Acupuncture. When did you bring in the Chinese medicine? Has that always been? Or? I was an acupuncturist first, interestingly enough, and did not want to practice herbs. Just didn't, was, had no interest whatsoever in herbs. And I, 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 I feel like I'm a pretty good acupuncturist. And um, I wasn't bored with acupuncture. But I was getting really difficult cases. Because, you know, you get difficult cases as you get more experienced. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't always able to help everyone, so I started using some herbs because I, I had heard and read. And it's, 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 so then about 12 years ago, I went back to school for herbal, so I have a, a three-year diploma in herbs as well as acupuncture. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting about my education is instead of going to a four-year school and getting both, I went to a three-year program, solid acupuncture, and got that down really well. Then 10 years later, I went to another program and, mm -hmm. and went to China for a month to study. And uh, so I, I learned them separately and they're just different disciplines for me. So if you want to have herbs, when you call, you say whether you want herbs or acupuncture. I usually don't do them both at the same time. Okay. Now, once you have your herbal evaluation and I know what I'm giving you, I can do it at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I do like to keep the cost down for people. So if I can do everything at once, I will. But if you have a particular problem, you want help with herbs, usually I, I charge $50 for an herbal evaluation if you're an ex existing um, patient. Excellent. So. And in terms of cost, um, as we get, you know, the, the natural medicine, it seems to be a, a route a lot of people are going now. Yeah. So with insurances and things like that, are you finding that that's become... Not for herbs. Not for herbs. But, but we'll for see acupuncture. some acupuncture later. A lot of the insurances are starting to cover it. Um, it's not standard, so you still pay us when you come in, mm -hmm. but we have an, a software that will put all the information you need to send it into your insurance company to get reimbursed. All right, excellent. So um, so we've talked about, you know, we have the whole pharmacy here, the herbs, everything to make you feel better. You do the acupuncture. What else? Well, we have also, um, she's here. You'll see her later in the room. Um, uh, we have massage therapists here, and they're trained. I like to get massage therapists who are trained in a wide variety of things. So, you know, we do pregnancy massage, we do sports massage, we do just general muscle trigger point type techniques, and we will coordinate. What's nice about getting the massage here, and you can go to your own therapist too, and I can coordinate, but here we talk before, like if I say, oh, you need massage, I'll talk to one of the therapists and and find out, like, what if they think they can help it, and mm -hmm. if, if they get back to me and say, oh gosh, the whole, like the whole um, Terry's major and minor were so tight, then I will add that into the treatment I'm doing the next time I see them so we coordinate really well. And Jessica Boyden's here, she's, she's one of our massage therapists, so you'll get to meet her later. So it seems like you really actually have a good working relationship with pe people, primary care physicians, you kind of will I uh, do now. Attract. When I first started, uh, the doctors in the area, well, I mean, to their credit, they can't really refer for something they don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. um, wouldn't weren't behind it at all. But now, some of those very same doctors are referring to me because they've seen year after year after year that patients come back feeling better. And I have a good re working relationship with um, some orthopedic uh, doctors and some family doctors and some you know different kinds of doctors in the area that I can work with. And in psychotherapy too, it goes mm -hmm. really well with psychotherapy. I treat anxiety and. I mean, if you have depression and you're being hospitalized, that's one thing. But if you're have like, a, oh, any kind of menstrual depression, oh my goodness, it's the only thing that works. It's like amazing. Okay. Yeah. Good. It's also good to know. Pretty much if it's stress-related, <laughs> acupuncture can probably help. Okay. That's a rule of thumb. That's great. So, what do you do for allergies? Is there something? Um, this would be a great thing to take to, to before the allergies even start to keep your immune system up. Okay. Um, but for allergies, I do normally... In Chinese medicine, breathing, anything to do with breathing, mm -hmm. is a lung function. So, first of all, you tonify lungs. Um, the chat, you, I don't know if we'll see that, but probably everybody's seen those charts that have the lines on them, and, or the little Accu dolls with the lines. Those are meridians. They're like vessels, like blood vessels, but they don't have blood. They have qi. We call it qi. Each one of those runs through an organ. Mm -hmm. So you have a lung, you have a spleen, a liver, a kidney channel. So what I do is I adjust the energy in the channel with it, that goes through the lungs to make them stronger 
and, and more energized. So that's what the first part of allergies for us. The second part is to actually put needles where it hurts and those needles will make everything drain. Now with allergies, it seems intense. Yeah, wow. probably you're going to have to come back. If you're suffering, it's like the needles are nothing compared to, um, they probably don't hurt as much as having a, a, a massage there. Like when you push, it hurts. You just put the okay. needle and you pop it in and it's done. Wow. So it might be a little pinch at first. Um, it shouldn't feel like a needle. Acupuncture should not feel like a needle. Yeah. It should have a little tingling or a little electric shock maybe. That's very instant. Or it might be a pressure. Or it could be it feels warm. Or sometimes if I put, sometimes when I take the needles out, somebody will say, oh, wait a minute. Like if I have it here, they'll go, you forgot to take the one out over here. And I wouldn't have put one in. Mm -hmm. Because what you're doing is you're getting this energy running. And it flows in your body and it gets stuck in a new place and you feel it there. So sometimes you'll feel the sensation not where the needle went in. And basically, I like it when you have some sensation because I know I've engaged the, the chi or the energy. Absolutely. So I don't think it in terms of pain. It's more a sensation. And when I've had acup acupuncture from you before, that's exactly what I've noticed is you put it somewhere and you feel it somewhere yeah. else. It's yeah. a very weird sensation. <laughs> it's not a, it doesn't hurt or anything like that. It's just a sensation. It's hard to describe. It is really hard to describe. It, everyone has a different way. One person came in and he was, he's, he tried to get his girlfriend to come with him and he was getting treated and he said, no, no, it's okay. It doesn't feel like a needle. It feels like, you know, when you, um, you pop a soda can and the fizz comes out. <laughs> so that's like, hmm. that's what it felt like to him. Like just fizz coming up. <laughs> that's that's one way to describe it. So, um, now, what do we have? What else do we have? Here? Oh well, do I just thought here? I'd show you a back on the herbal theme. Um, if you want to have a berry, you can help yourself. This, uh, of course, nowadays I these herbs are. Um, I just make a, a blanket price for anything raw and the same price for anything powdered because I just it's too hard to keep track of. This one costs five dollars and this one costs eight dollars. So these are fifteen cents a gram. So I have to weigh them out, and I might weigh like these, there would be nine of this, nine of that, five of that. This is an old-fashioned Chinese scale. I like showing this because it's kind of fun. And it's marked in, um, in not in grams, but it's, they're called qian. So you have to translate what a qian is to a gram if you use this. I use it sometimes mm -hmm. if it's a slow day. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do see you have it's the actual digital yeah, scale yeah. balance. Yeah, yes. And that's an old-fashioned balance, and they still use yeah. these. That's so neat. You'll see these. They have bigger ones. This is more for like a little office that just I see. I don't have to make huge batches up. Then if I use this, what I do in the end is I take their bag of herbs and I put them on the digital scale to make sure it's right mm -hmm. because I want to do that. So I do use a modern digital scale. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really important tool. It's a mortar and pestle, but mm -hmm. some of the, like the nuts we use, mm -hmm. um, if they're cracked open, they work better because if you just throw a nut in, and you boil it, you know, what happens? But if you crack at the nut a little bit first, then all the goodness of the inside of that can come out into your herbal formula. But you kind of don't want them cracked ahead of time because they can go bad easy. Okay. So I keep them, I prefer having them here, and then if I'm making a formula, I throw whatever I need in here, and I bang, 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 and I crush them. Mm -hmm. I'll just open them, and then I throw them in the formula. And we have um, some of them too, like this one, Swan's Out Red. This is so nice for sleeping. These need to be ground up, but I don't want to keep them ground up because they'll just dry out. So I just keep a tiny bit of them in here. Okay. So I have this kind of grinder where it's like one of those personal blender things, and I just throw them in and grind it up, and, and I keep that amount because that's probably good for like maybe five, five, and then I'll grind some more. So I try not to grind too much because it's not going to go bad. It's just that it's not going to be as potent if it's ground up in, in the air drying. Mm -hmm. So I'll use this up this week, and then I'll make some more when I need to. There's How many the, herbs do you think you have? Oh gosh. <laughs> so 20 times 10 on this shelf, and then I've got all those ones over there. Wow. And then I have my granules. Yep. So the granules come in a, oh gosh, these are tears. So they, they come in boxes like this. So these, this is a formula. Mm -hmm. So this has, this will have like eight or nine herbs in it. And the way they make the, the, the herbs in the factory places, they, like I said, it's important to boil them together so you make a super herb. This isn't eight herbs put into a jar alone. This is eight herbs that were boiled up and then processed into a granule. Okay. So I have these two, because some people don't like to do the boiling up, and this is almost as good. And a lot of my patients will take their formula, but then they'll take these when they travel. Mm. 
And then I have also called patent medicines, which are capsules and tablets, but obviously I can't alter those. Okay. Like this formula, I can't take something out of it, but I have herbs I can put in it. So, you know, I can, I can adjust the formulas a little easier. But a lot of times what's nice is people can get feeling well enough so all they need is pills, and then they just buy a pill. It's like 15 bucks for a bottle of pills, mm -hmm. and they're good for 10 days or two weeks. And, okay. Yeah. Great. It's, I think it's very economical. I mean, you're, you're going to need 150 grams is 15 cents a gram for a week. Your copay is probably that at the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. right. And this is going to help you better and have side, you know, fewer side effects. And acupuncture also is very good at helping people be able to take their pharmaceutical medicine. Like some of these medicines that make you anxious or make you gain weight or make you drowsy, the acupuncture can, um, it can take those side effects away. So not only do I have herbal value here, but I can help people take their real, so-called real medicine better. Mm -hmm. with fewer side effects. So the medicine so that nice. you have to take daily, like even for cholesterol yeah. and things like that, you can... Yeah, a lot of times with the <clears throat> cholesterol drugs, um, people will get very achy muscles. So oh, oh, oh. massage and acupuncture are great for that. Wow. Well, so now what happens that... Um, we'll pretend that I haven't been here for okay. acupuncture. Okay. So what happens when I walk in the door and say, Kate, what? I need acupuncture. I am stressed out and I just need something to make me feel better. Well, you'll first you'll encounter Cassandra. Okay. And she'll give you this intake form. Alrighty. And you fill this out. Mm hmm And you just take however... Oh, sometimes we email these ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so... Oh, I forgot to tell her to email someone. Anyway, we, <laughs> we email these ahead. Mm -hmm. And then you bring it in and we sit down and we, we talk in a room mm -hmm. for between, I'd say, 15 minutes and half an hour if, you're, if there's a, like, a lot going on. We cover everything. And there's a part on here where you can mark down where things hurt. And I look at that. Okay. So if you come with a headache, I'm going to want to know other parts that hurt too because there's all those connections of where the where everything flows. So let's say you have sciatica and you have a headache, I might be able to help both things. So I like to know everything, and if I if it's if I don't need to know it, I just ignore it. And if I do need, is there to have too much information and not enough? Okay. And then and then we go in and I take your. I'll do this quickly so that people can see how it's done. But I take your pulse, mm -hmm. and we take pulse differently. There's there's six different places six different pulses and there are 28 more than 28 different qualities we're trying to feel so it's not just slow or fast it's slippery it's choppy it's um, these different qualities that I'm looking for right. well if I'm anything less than perfect we'll edit that out yeah, so. we just, we'll, we'll, yeah we'll take a break on that one <laughs> all right excellent yeah. so I think we are going to move on to the acupuncture right. room I believe yeah, and well, uh, Trish has already filled out her intake and we've discussed everything and we're, We're ready to go. go. Some needles All right. <laughs> Excellent. So we are now in one of Mystic River Acupuncture's treatment rooms with Kate again and her massage therapist, Jess. So Trisha, as you all can see, is going to be receiving a treatment today, and she's very excited. Oh, yeah. So Kate, why don't you tell us what we're going to be doing here today? Okay, well, she's already filled out the intake, and yes. we spent all the time talking, mm -hmm. and then she's pretty healthy. So that actually, believe it or not, makes it a little harder. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I have to figure out... What to do, right. because she doesn't have a headache or something, so I don't. Yeah. So I'm, the first thing we do is take the pulse. Now, usually I would take this side, then walk around and take that side, okay. but because we're filming, I'm going to take them all together. Each one has six pulses in each hand, and okay. there are 28 different ways the pulse can feel under your fingers. So we're looking at things besides speed and uh, fast, slow. We're looking mm -hmm. at other qualities, too. Um, how wide it is, how thin it is, how on the surface it is okay. and again her pulse is pretty good she said she had a little bit of stress mm -hmm. um, with the, all the chamber you know yes it, things that she has to sometimes. do <laughs> so in, in the pulse is showing a little bit of the qualities of stress so I think I'm just gonna treat her I'm gonna do a treatment that goes with the herb formula she just drank oh, very okay nice. so a protective treatment and one for stress Perfect. now you do that the next thing an acupuncturist is probably gonna do is look at the tongue now what does that tell you okay uh, the coating of the tongue is very mm -hmm. important, how thick it is, how thin it is, okay. what color it is. So mm -hmm. I would probably ask her if she had coffee today because mm -hmm. then if it was a little bit yellow, I wouldn't know why. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, then it, it's um, the shape of the tongue. And a lot of times if you have a little red tip on the tip of your tongue, it, it's a sign of insomnia or anxiety. Oh. It can be. It doesn't always mean that. But So a lot of times I'll look at the tongue and I'll go, how have you been sleeping? And people mm -hmm. go, how did you know I wasn't sleeping? <laughs> so, Do I have a red tip? Fun. 
Yours is a little red, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should mention. And then we we palpate the the it's called the hara, the um this part where people meditate into. It's very important. My Japanese teacher Kiko Matsumoto is a master of palpator, I learned okay. from her. So you're tight a little bit across the diaphragm. I've been doing a lot of sit-ups. There you go. <laughs> See now, but it's a different tightness than having tone. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, um, and a lot of times when you have stress, you hold it kind of like in here. So okay. I'm going to do something that, first of all, protects her according to the way the herbs are protecting her mm -hmm. from getting sick. Right. And then I'm going to do a little something for stress. Great. And then um, Jessica is going to do some coordinated massage. What we do is, like I was saying before, we like to coordinate our treatment. So right. she and I talked a little bit before this. Mm -hmm. And she's going to work on those wind points where yeah, this is so getting. We talked about yeah, Perfect. yeah. So I won't have to put needles in there because we have just yet. Great. Okay. <laughs> so my hands are washed, of course. And um, we have alcohol and needles. Um, I can actually, don't know if I can do a close-up, but I've done lots of acupuncture on Mystic Matter, so probably mm -hmm. right. it's not like we can't do close up, but mm -hmm. the needles come in a packet of 10 and they're oh, very, wow. very, they're very, very tiny. So I'm going to start down here. I like to start at the, at the foot. I'm going to keep her, when I get to that spot, but I'm going to keep her warm, so I'm keeping her cozy. And um, I'm here. I think I'm going to do the moxa on your hand if that's okay. Um, mm -hmm. sure. And I'm very excited today because I've been on Mystic Matters several times mm -hmm. and other TV shows, and there's this thing called moxibustion that I can't do because your smoke alarm will go right, off. Right, yes. And you get in big trouble. So I have my smoke alarm set so that I can do it. Great. It's an herb that you burn on the skin. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's it's got an energizing quality to it, and it's very warming. Oh, okay. And it feels, it, it feels good. Very nice. So we're going to do one here. Are you ready? Ah, here we go. Oh, Jess has already gotten started. There you go. And now I'm going to cover her up because we want to keep her warm if possible. What does it feel like, Trisha? Um, it's, it's definitely a strange feeling. It's you can feel it, but it's uh, just like kind of like a intense, but not painful at all. Mm -hmm. It's not painful. So here, and the. Can I do her ears? Because the ears are, th these points are really nice for just stress. Okay. They're, they're part of the battlefield acupuncture plan where um, there's a protocol for soldiers in the field. Oh, interesting. And they're also part of the um, the addiction protocol and mm -hmm. they're part of like an anxiety. They're, there's just really important points. And okay. Since it's a quick demo, I don't want to get, mm -hmm. I want to do general things. That right. Will help. So. This one might be a little bit jumpy because it's into a muscle. There, you felt that like pulse. Yeah. And one over here. The tube slipped, I'm sorry. So if she was in my office right now, um, we would just be leaving her alone. We'd close the door. Okay. We would. And how long do you leave someone? Put the space blanket on her, keep her warm. Okay. Um, you leave someone about between 15 minutes and half an hour. Okay. You only need the needles in 10 minutes, but I like to let people rest mm -hmm. because mostly they're here because it's stress. Right. So, mm -hmm. but over here, the moxa. Mm -hmm. So this is a really cool technique. Um, here's the moxa. Okay. It comes in different forms. Mm -hmm. It's, you can get this punky stuff. Okay. So this you can either put on as a clump. So a clump would be like that big. Mm -hmm. Or I like to use threads. It almost so looks like a roll sponge. It into a thread. Yes, very <laughs> spongy. But you roll it like you would roll a... Remember clay snakes? Yes. You roll yep. it like a clay snake. <laughs> and I have... I We put them out there, I think, but we have these little stick-on moxas I can send people home with. It's a thing I can send them home to do. Oh, very nice. Where they light their stick-on moxa mm -hmm. and they put it on the spot. Okay. And um, women who are trying to have babies and they, mm -hmm. they're breech, sometimes if you do that, I can send them home and have them just oh, wow. do that. Very it's, nice. It's good. So um, what you do first is you put a little bit of um, cream on... And there are two reasons for this. You want to prevent burning of the skin. And you, um, you, I'm doing this hand so that the camera is closer to the camera, even though this hand's more convenient for me. Um, you, you put that on so it protects the skin. And also, mm -hmm. since I'm using little threads, you need to make them be able to stand up. So you have to have a little okay. sticky thing there. Mm -hmm. So I do that. I'm going to roll this up. And then I'm going to just stick it right on there. And it's going to be really hard to see since you can't do a close-up. But you can see that's a little 
red. Yes, yep. And then you use a little incense stick to light it because it's so tiny. <laughs> like, obviously, I can't put the... Right. There, so. so you go like this. And then let me know. If it, did you feel that? It just burned right out. She didn't even feel it. Wow. So I'll do... That's I it? Do, that's it. It's, and you do that a <laughs> few times. I'll make it a little bigger this time. <laughs> so what is it's supposed to do? It's supposed to what it does is it, it warms the channel. So we are on a cold, rainy day right now. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to put this one up before you, it gets there. All right, now. Ow. Yeah, see, she could feel that little start to mm -hmm. burn because it was a bigger. I'm just demonstrating how you can make a different size. Right. I try to keep them small enough not to hurt. Right. So um, I have to do one more because you never do two. It's just not always in odd numbers. Yeah, always okay. in odd. The Chinese do it in odd numbers because the um, they. Ha I don't really subscribe to the numerology, mm -hmm. but sometimes you just do things because that's what you learned you should do. But yep. <laughs> the idea is that an odd an, an odd number has the chance to be completed, and okay. an even number is very set. So mm -hmm. you do it. You do a number that will forward that. I mean, I makes sense. I yeah. just do what I was taught to do in those cases. <laughs> so I'm going to do one more. Usually, you do anywhere from three to seven is is normal. Um, what this does is, though, it, it warms up this channel so that it's warm. Mm -hmm. And that means cold invasion can't come in because it's warm. Okay. So it starts protecting the surface of the skin. It's very preventative. It keeps the pores right so they can okay. sweat properly and not, not have inv like invasive okay. influences come in. So we were talking about how Chinese medicine doesn't think in terms of mm -hmm. germs, but in terms of climates right. invading you. So it does that. And the other thing... Um, Moxa does is it uh, it will um, energize the channel. So after a treatment, if you do mm -hmm. Moxa, it keeps that chi flowing. Oh, okay. Now this is a little. This is really interesting. This is a you put little cones of Moxa in here and you light them. Okay. And you put them on the belly button, or like you could put them back here if you were okay. had muscle tension, and you you move it around and it just warms it up so nice. So that's yeah. another way to do it. And then we have this kind of moxa. This is what I really can't do in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. I see why. <laughs> yeah, you, it's a big. Um, we're on tape, but it is a very rainy, cold, damp spring day today. Mm -hmm. So, now, so you get it going. It's a big mm -hmm. cigar, and I'm gonna, I would, I'm gonna do Hannah's neck, but I can also. Tell me when you feel that. Wait, no. And if you do this on someone with sciatica, and you do it kind of like mm -hmm. in the gallbladder area, we for us the gallbladder, the piriformis or the right. gluteus, a lot of times they'll feel the heat go right down there. Interesting. Their yeah. leg because it's entering the channel and it's traveling down. Right. So so Very if you neat. turn just a little bit and move your hair, you can tell your so hair doesn't have to go. Really, this feels really, <laughs> really good. So this is a spot you use. It's called, it, this is where all the channels come together. Oh, so yeah, doing, that's very warm. Do you like it? I do, yeah. yeah. Is it traveling anywhere? I feel it moving down. See, she feels it in her back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's then interesting. I could go up here too, but with your hair, I think you need to be laying down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's closing those wind points uh -huh. off. The same points that Jess is working on, this will close them off and warm them and okay. keep them. It's almost like protecting the gate mm -hmm. so that things can't come in. Very neat. So so then she would, we'd leave her like this. Um, I would get the ashes off her. <laughs> and, uh, Take the needles out and then mm -hmm. she'd be done. I don't know wow. if you want me to take the needles out or. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna let Trisha relax and we're gonna shut down the camera so that she yeah, can enjoy that time. That. Okay. So thank you so much for joining us this evening. Have a great night.